You're gonna get the next match you're going. It's gonna be against Minty versus Malona. <clears throat> and we don't see an Arbiter Villager ban here. And we see the Seaside Balloon first pick from Minty though. A little bit surprising. No Arbiter Villager first pick from either <coughs> side being picked up. As strong as the unit is, you know, people are learning and because they were so strong, have learned to play around it. Mm -hmm. uh, and meanwhile, you know, DN being DN, I think is a very fair ban. As is bizarre. Mm -hmm. DN just being picked up every single round, being so strong, doing so much work, I, I think it's, we're going to see her While being, being a, a flat lolly, and that show... <clears throat> sorry, sorry, what? Uh, <clears throat> turn cycling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, we're seeing very standard core picks on from Minty's side. Fawn Cecilia being extremely powerful um, as a supportive unit just in general. And Maluna picks up Spectre to Nibria in response. Going for heavy damage. No support units from Maluna's side yet. And we saw from the previous matchup um, in both of Malona's games um, going extremely offensive. Mm -hmm. um, extremely offensive heavy. And then picking up Lilius for the dual attacks. Still has some forms of mitigation here, rather bulky units, but all of them, while being knights, are still extremely uh, an offensive threat, I think. And are we going to see Champion Zerato be picked up in response to Tenebria SSB? <clears throat> it would feel like the logical pick, um, you know, just going off of a counter pick standpoint. Um, but it would also be logical to infer that that would be the guaranteed ban slot, you know. Oh, so. we see. <laughs> wow. He also the has a skin. skin for a skin debut. Let's go. <laughs> oh. We see the Destina skin. Interesting. For those unaware, with 900 Skystones in the current spring uh, 2020 Epic Pass in Smilegate's Epic 7, you too can uh, 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 achieve the, uh, what's it called? Spring? I, I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called too. Waifu Destina. Sponsored by Smilegate. Do recommend. All right, the match starts underway. Ooh, really fast Charles here, taking first turn. But <laughs> Maluna has no immunity on his side. He does have the Destina, though. Uh, hopefully that's, um, mm. hopefully that's able to resist. All. Well, we'll see. Um, turn order doesn't exactly look quite correct for Maluna, though. Very true, but some of that is offset by the fact that um, if Destina were to go, she cleanses and pushes up based off of the number of debuffs. Um, and looks like, you know, she did end up resisting. Uh, Destina does have her exclusive equipment, which is up to a maximum of 16% effect resistance, which is pretty massive. Mm. It's actually quite scary. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> actually gets and we're seeing the power of Rengar's special drink right there. Um, Ask the deleted, landing the 50%, and it is a 15%, 50%, well, 50% and the 85%. Uh, to land the armor break first, it's just uh, absolute deletion. That's going to hurt Maluna a lot here. The only damage output being Charles left mm -hmm. is... And into really tanky units like a Ravi who don't feel as punished by a Charles mm -hmm. and a fire Tenubria who is one of still one of the biggest threats um, being completely locked down uh, is this Charles unfortunate <laughs> uh, 
and this is looking at heavily this is looking like it's heavily favoring minty at this point um mm -hmm. as the moment yeah, charles the falls second, yeah. and maluna comes in with the yield yeah um, the kill on specter genibrio was game yes uh. <laughs> that that specter genibrio dying that early on really um hurt maluna a lot there 100 mm percent. -hmm. okay we get All the right. right first pick oh <laughs> finally <laughs> finally get the first pick through And we are doing a third place matchup yep. before the finals, correct? Right? Yep. Correct. Okay. All right, so we see the SSB commit first pick yet again. Minty picking up DN real quick here. <laughs> and Maluna. Heavily contested units, man. Maluna banning just, Tenebria, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's an important lesson for everyone learning uh, and watching through these streams. They're like adapting to what just happened, you know. Identifying what you personally struggled with, the threat to you, and banning it out. Because every, every person in RTA will have a different play style. Because uh, units can be geared a lot differently now, a lot of different methods to gear units. Um, so yeah, a lot no, of all of from these experience. players, yeah, yeah, all of these players are extremely talented. Um, so you know, adopting that same habit of you know, learning what bested you, learning what is your weakness. Yeah. <clears throat> People making fun of my work choice talented. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All uh, right. All right. <laughs> I, I will admit, though, I will admit one thing. This this being a gacha game, you know, obviously um, being able to get the right roles and whatnot do help a lot. <laughs> but there is still a big method in RTA regarding drafts that even if you do have a bit of a weaker gear quality, you can still win based off of draft, I feel like. Um, mm -hmm. As long as you're, you know, around the range of their. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, for sure. Like gears, a lot, oftentimes, a lot about thresholds. So are you are you fast enough? Do you deal enough damage? But anything other than that is just overkill. Mm -hmm. So, so often it's the team comp that decides things. Are we gonna see a Melissa from Maluna? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Just the way that rolled off the tongue. No, <laughs> never mind. We see the Lilius. We see the Lilius. Um. And, uh, oh, two leaf. This is best, best out of three. Oh, we see an Oxos being picked up by Meluna here. Returning back to his very offensive start in this tournament. Mm -hmm. No. Trying to replicate that. No healer is just uh, pure damage and uh, mm -hmm. Oxos to help cycle. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a, it's a decent choice considering Minty only has one Soul Weaver on his team right now, being DN. <clears throat> and the Minty picking up the May Chloe, having two now, but um, Minty only has two damage dealers, being A Ravi and Charles. <clears throat> yeah, it's, we've seen a similar thing play out in other tournaments as well. <clears throat> the unstoppable force versus the immovable object kind of thing. It's just a question of whether or not um, Malona can break through the defensive wall in time. <clears throat> and we see the Spectre to Nibir ban along with the Charles ban. <clears throat> Interesting. <clears throat> Alright, match is underway. And actually, I just realized mm -hmm. this Kron is pretty fast on Maluna's side. Um, mm hmm. Considering it's very close to the Oxlot speed, roughly. While also dishing out a lot of damage. Boost the SSB, get the skill 3 off. Lands on Buff 1 A Raya V. Be interested to see who he chooses to target. <coughs> Mm 
We do see the alien has knife gear on yet again, but no attack buff preemptively. But even then, that that did a huge <laughs> chunk of damage, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Don't know if that's what we wanted to bring with Lilius. Definitely didn't get the right dual attack there, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> we saw that earlier too. Losing the two out of three. <clears throat> Give type of water monkey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. After this Water's match, we'll, <clears throat> we'll, we'll have a bit of a break again before we do the third round match in the finals. Yeah, I need a drink. Fonce is going for the skill three. <clears throat> Man, you guys just to stay hydrated, bot, or whatever. <laughs> I don't. I don't keep that in mind. I'm not a professional streamer like you guys. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I always keep a can of bang right next to me. That's not uh, that's not what? water. <laughs> that ain't that ain't water, chief. It's fluids. Bruh. And Maluna choosing what to do. Goes for the soul burn on Oxlots. Mm, trying to cycle back as damn to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is silence on fallen Cecilia. And who is who is Maluna gonna buff? Is my question here. Goes for the Kiran buff. Yeah. It's actually a soul burn. Will he crit? He does no. He misses the crit on the uh, DM. Oh. And the counter A Ravi. Ooh. Super battle. We've come to the point where Maid still has her S3 up mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. and this, this A Ravi is doing a lot of damage here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Here comes the VN clan barrier. So Minty, as of right now, still has a full. Um, he's basically reset the playing field for himself, and he still has the mid S three in the back in case something pops. Doesn't get the pushback. Probably hoping for the pushback on mid there. I'm guessing from Maluna's side. Most likely. Most likely, the mid S three does get committed right here. Um, He's at the point where Kron S3 has to kill something, otherwise mm -hmm. that is most likely game. But with Elias knife here, very yeah. So he does kill yeah. the Aravi. Clean kill. <clears throat> Clean kill, and let's see what Lilius gets to do here. <laughs> oh. Gets the dual attack with all <laughs> slots again. Um that's funny. Oh my gosh. Uh chooses uh, to go for the SSP. Does get the kill. Rosa Hargana showing up on the SSB. It hasn't mm -hmm. really been felt so far, admittedly. We're going to see the S2 come off. Does this land anything? He does. Oh, okay. He The defense break on S on Fallen Sicilia not nearly as useful as if it la would land on Dion or May, Chloe, considering mm -hmm. Fallen Sicilia, I think, is going to yeah. die either way. But, yeah, um, FCC would have died and made Chloe has to die for Malona to have a chance. He does get the crit, but he can't kill the DN. Unfortunate. And with the death of Kerom, we're looking at a really tough time. Mm -hmm. Unless SSB can start popping off here. The benefit of only having one unit alive is that Lilius can no Guarantee. longer brick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't brick the A-lots. Oh. <laughs> he couldn't kill the Fawn Cecilia just now. 451. Wow. That's going to hurt a lot. Landing to provoke. Yeah, that's the kill. Um, yeah. DN does have buffs coming up, which is going to hurt a lot if um, once she gets those coming up. <clears throat> if this was a drink, if that was, if this drink, was a drink, Bologna, um, that would have been a dead, uh, both of them, actually. Yeah. Could have refreshed. But he could have killed the DN with the S2 counter, and then once it was Lilius's turn, he could have s one into DN again to kill mm -hmm. up on the revive. So that's showing the power of drink right there. Rosa has not, the power of Rosa has not been felt. I'm wondering if otherworldly machinery could have been a better artifact pick. Just for the AoE damage, right? Just for the AoE damage, because right there, that could that would have killed. If it was anything other than Rosa's, uh, that would have killed. 
So mm. this is Maybe like the like only chance for Malone to actually snipe a kill on that mid Chloe. Right. If he does right. not kill this mid Chloe here, which it really does look like he might take it. <laughs> it's we're looking at a 50-50 potentially. Ooh. Oh. Oh. He gets the kill though. Oh. No, the the okay. kill. No. Oh wow. And in an in a oh. very, very Damn. We see Malona come back, tying it up at one one. Wow. That was I definitely that was definitely a close game, I have to say. There. That last that was little extremely bit. close. Um Wow. That's probably that is without a doubt the closest set we have had so far today. Mm -hmm. uh, and a really entertaining one too. But yeah. Again, we're seeing though, you know, the power of drink. <laughs> or the potential <laughs> power of drink. Yeah, and how smart smile gate is. <laughs> I think one of the things there though, limited. that Lilius looked like she was really fast, where she was able to push back and then still lap the whole team again. Oh yeah, um, for sure. A second time. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we noticed from the beginning that Kayron was also extremely fast. Mm -hmm. Alon was also obviously fast. Mm -hmm. um, so we're seeing Malona, you know, play the speed game relatively well. Um, but yeah, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Introvertosaur says basically whoever chooses SS Milano wins. And according to Pantry, whoever chooses ML Ken loses. RT in a nutshell. <laughs> um. Yeah, and for the people asking in chat, bets are only mm -hmm. open before the matches start. So um, matches are already underway. So unfortunately, bets are closed here. But just to remind people, for the people who bet, we have 63% of you guys betting on Minty, 37% of you betting on Mal Maluna. So, you guys, we're cheer hard for the one you want to win because uh, you know, there's some bets riding here. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, Ooh, that's an interesting first pick. For sure, 100%. Um, Spectre to, Spectre to Nibria being picked up first is something you don't really see because they're. <clears throat> Concerning the fact that, not to mention, there's an SSB on the other team already. Mm -hmm. We had seen how powerful um, uh, Spectre Tenebria had been, especially going against um, Sean uh, mm -hmm. for Careless. Um, but by the same margin, we, we've seen this happen before in round one uh, of this uh, set, you know? Where if Spectre Tenebria dies <laughs> just to SSB, that's game. Mm -hmm. um, but drafting k and Spectre Genebria into the SSB gives a hint that maybe, again, Bologna's just drafting as he is um, with things that are potentially weak to SSB with the infer inference that, you know, it's most likely that he's going into this trying to ban the SSB. That's true. That's very likely the fact that Luna's already prepared no matter what to ban the SSB. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, Maluna picking up Eunice real quickly, picking up Falconer, Clary, and Lilius just right away on the get-go. Mm -hmm. We're seeing Falconer, Clary come out to play. We've seen Falconer, Clary do some pretty questionable things in previous tournaments <clears throat> for certain people. <clears throat> let's let, yeah, let's let's keep that, and we'll see if this Falconer, Clary uh, works well, and we'll take a look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and we see Fallen Cecilia. A Ravi, very tanky team, um, or picking up tankier units from Minty side, but only one Soul Weaver again. Mm -hmm. It's a very similar draft. Um, it's almost the same draft for Minty, uh, just with SSB instead of Maid Chloe. And Maluna hovering Destina, hovering Watcher Shuri, and taking Crow instead. All right, chickens up. Gonna hide the bands. Taking Crow was a little bit interesting there because it seems like he was picking a very tank, sorry, a very damage oriented team and then transitioning into Crow to like guarantee the nuke or something there. Okay, Maluna banning the Aravi while Minty opts to ban the Spectre to Nibria. Uh, 
And I do think that makes sense. You know, Spectre Dream Breed has been such a powerful force. Mm -hmm. If he lets him through, then it's very possible that uh, that that might be what loses the game for Minty. Not to mention there is a Falconer Clarice there too. Right. Oof. Turn order does not look quite good. Maluna's yeah. Kron actually takes first turn before the Falconer Clary. Yeah. I'm interested to know whether or not that was the plus minus, you know? Yeah, if he if that was speed RNG, that hurts for Maluna quite that would really quite hurt. a lot. I mean, first we have to see if Clary does her job anyway. Very true, very true. If she is the Chad Burb like the Thai Burb. That is a Chad Burb. That is a Chad Burb. Also, someone commented what happened to Bird. He's uh, time trained. He doesn't trip when the lights are off. So he does, he, he does get the kill on Charles, which negates one threat already from the team. Mm -hmm. And Minty well, doesn't have a reviver good. anymore. It doesn't have a reviver. So that's just a threat gone already. And with Crow being available, it's uh, very likely that uh, Meluna can wait on and try to just wait to kill the SSB now. Right. We see the Helag's Lance come out on Clary. Mm -hmm. um, and with her passive that, I don't know if people have forgotten about it, people aren't familiar with her kid, um, gaining combat readiness every time she has once. Um, she's going to be laughing. Oh. The SSB did not proc the K-Run. <laughs> no, the counter will. This is actually huge, though, because... Oh. Uh, right, yeah. yeah uh, that basically that guarantees is... the kill on the K-Run. Yep. Mm -hmm. For people who aren't, uh, who aren't aware, if you if you did proc uh, the immortality, the passive of Kron with the brute damage, then the unbuffable would apply after, and then Kron would still be alive no matter what. Yeah. Uh, by not killing, that was actually the ideal. Uh, um, that that hurts for Maluna a lot there because of that. He was able to, he was able to get the debuffs um, on first. Right, yeah. It, it wasn't drink. It was the fact that, like, as I'm reading some people in chat, like, it was the fact that he didn't kill. Um, well, was drink was still there. needed in that situation or for it to proc because Kron will still live. No, oh, after, after yeah. final hit. So SSB does fall though, so Minty is left right. with um, only DN and Fallen yeah. Cecilia. This looks like but a with, really, really close match. But yet again, but the with the nuke. Here. Is Fallen Cecilia's Soulburn cooldown? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, I, I, the point I was making earlier was that he needed to not kill. Ooh! Oh! oh holy holy sacrifice! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Okay! <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. That's hype. That's fucking hype. That was not expected. Wow. Alright. Okay. Throwing Minty in for a loop, thinking he guarantees the, the Lilius kill here, but Lilius says, surprise, I'm back. Mm -hmm. This might be a lot of trouble for Minty. Not exactly right. sure if he actually has enough damage to actually kill. Because mm -hmm. clearly he does has to, heal. He has to down one of the knights here. Goes for a lowest one, which is Lilius. Sure he We're brought. seeing the Helag's Lance come into play yet again. Just more and more turns for this Falcon McClary. Mm -hmm. Again, the dual attack into push, getting the extra turn, skipping a tiny bit. Soul burning, not, not risking it a time. Oh my gosh. Not risking it at all. Going for the guaranteed defense break and provoke on DN so she can't use any buffs. Not to mention... Mm -hmm. um, Lilius does also have Provoke, so he can risk that afterwards later too, and hope for getting a Provoke off. Mm. Is either that, or he would go full offensive, tries mm. to go for a DN kill. Because this is a bruiser Lilius here, so it can start doing a bit of damage once Frenzy starts stacking up. Looks like he goes full aggressive. It's actually quite, very, quite scary though. This is very, very close. Yeah. The healing glance coming up again with the 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 Kluri heals coming in little by little, just keeping the Lilius alive. The dual attack, not enough. The defense buff to crowd is just so tanky. Mm -hmm. He's still got several turns before his S three nuke, though. That's another thing to keep in mind. Just two more turns. Lilius being provoked is actually a very very big deal. She won't even be able to set up her barrier. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a super big, super big deal. Provoke does, <laughs> does land on the SCC though. Minty opts for the skill three instead of cleansing the provoke. Will the end lap? Is he expecting the end to be super, super fast and lap? Nope. Oh, the healing the, lands again. The healing lands pushing the clurry up really far. The artifact choice on Rosa Hargana on SSP may be questionable, but these knight artifacts are putting in work. Holy Sack is the only reason Molona is still in this fight. And Minty concedes <sighs> Minty the match. The wow. Oh, that without a doubt, we can say that oh, holy man. sacrifice, holy sacrifice, and Helag lands won Malona this match. He would not have won at all without these artifacts that is insane that was honestly the most unexpected thing like the moment lilius fell i was i was like it's gonna be tough for maluna and then we see the revive i'm like <laughs> i was gonna call the game I'm like oh that's game there's no oh my god did someone oh. did someone have a revive buff i'm just like no that was holy sacrifice wow you saw that that was <laughs> So congrats to the people who bet on Maluna. 37% of you, you guys, probably some of you guys got your, uh, some of your uh, waifus back there. Congratulations. And very good game by Minty and Maluna.